Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Legends Red. Um, in the previous episode, uh, we defeated our rival at Silphco and we also took down Giovanni and his Mega Tyranitar. So for today, we'll take on the Saffron City Gym. This is the Psychic Type Gym, so my best bet will be Greninja since Greninja is partly Dark Type here, so it, he wouldn't get affected much. Carve Knight as well. Gardevoir and Toxtricity might not be a good match here since Toxtricity is half poison type and one psychic type move will definitely take it down. And the guard and Gardevoir is a psychic and fairy. So one ghost type move like Shadow Ball can also Take her down. Cinder Ace might be good here since it's purely fire type as well as Rillaboom for being purely grass type. So maybe I'll use them for the gym trainers and all. But seriously, with this is like the rocket hideout. I'm not really familiar with teleports with the teleportation devices here and okay so this is since there's a slight shade of yellow in this slope poke this is probably a galarian one the galarian slow poke that will evolve into the galarian slow bro I might try a blaze kick. I'm sadly no matter how I long I tried to how long was it since I last played Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green Leaf Green and the other Rome hacks based on this. I cannot really go to Sabrina's fast as it is because uh, of course I wanted to defeat all the gym trainers since they can also fork us some poke dollars and all and the EXP for level ups but I always get confused on when and where I should and what teleporting spot should I take to reach Sabrina fast? So maybe I can use the Thunderbolt now. Okay, that it may be a stronger move there, but it didn't do much. Maybe I'll try with the Shadow Ball. I don't want to use Mega Evolution for Gardevoir for now since this is just Gym Trainers. Oh well. <clears throat> Might as well... Look at how pretty the Mega Gardevoir is. Okay, it is a Hyper Potion. I think I will switch up 
carnivore um probably green ninja can handle this now all right the psychic doesn't offend green ninja as expected so green ninja is definitely the frontliner for this gym though the faint attack doesn't really do much but that's the only dark type move that can replace the it i don't have the dark pulse yet i don't think this ha rom hack has the dark pulse okay so wait what gardevoir is 80 that's not quite right So this time it's a slow king. Okay, we'll just stick with Green Ninja here and there. Okay. I'm wondering what Mega Evolution will Sabrina have. Maybe she has the Mega Alakazam. Or she'll have another set of different Pokemon. In addition to her original team. So the Galarian slow pokes back. Uh, maybe I'll try with Rillaboom. Maybe it can deal some great damage. I want to check first what happened to Gardevoir. Oh, okay, so Gardevoir's okay. That was just a fluke back then. This is just a bug. So maybe a Leaf Blade. But since the slowpoke is a Galarian one, okay, how could that be? Maybe strength? Somehow Rillaboom became my HM slave or something. Okay, Rilla Boom of seventy-nine. So this is a Mr. Mime. Wait, are you the Galarian Mr. Mime or the original Mr. Cantonian? Okay, so this is just the original Mr. Mime, the Canto form. I wish I could I could have seen them. Galarian forms of Mr. Mime and probably a Mr. Rhyme. Okay, so there's a slow king again. I think I'll pull up the Giga Drain to regain the HP. Uh, 
Alright, the adults. It was quite a lot. But since there's swagger, I'll switch up to. To who? To Corp Knight, I guess. So that it'll just hit Aerial Ace. That won't do much because Corp Knight is still type. Aside from being flying type. I just really wanted to take okay so she has an alakazam there standing right next to her okay so this one has a slow bro only and since this is a solo one this is probably a mega so i don't know what should I do? Maybe Greninja? To match up the level. My highest is level 80, which are Greninja, Corv Knight, and Toxtricity. So, looking at the gym trainer, if they have a level 80, Sabrina will definitely be at the same level as them, or even higher. And that will be very frustrating to finish up. Okay, the faint attack didn't really work. Probably because of the withdraw. So now it has amnesia. Okay, we're definitely chip it with surf first. So this slow bro will chip down all the power points of Green Ninja because of the withdrawals and the amnesia. So I'll chip it down first with a few surf and probably extra sensory since it has the most before finally taking it down with a faint attack. I want to use Thunderbolt but I'm afraid to risk Toxtricity and Gardevoir for this. Don't you have any other moves? We're replacing Greninja. I'm pushing Toxtricity out. I'll try to use Toxic to chip it away. Okay. I missed and now it has Psychic and Toxtricity will be... Oh boy, this is what I've been trying to say. Should have used Thunderbolt in the first place. Oh no, Toxtricity is down. Okay, this is so frustrating. I'll use Rillaboom. Maybe with a Leaf Blade or so. Because of the withdraw and the amnesia, we couldn't even hit it much. Okay, we'll just pull through with everything. 
then heal up if I can still remember the way back. Oh boy. This slow bro is so annoying. Okay. This is really stupid. She has tons of hyper potions. How can I chip it away with... I'm getting Core of Night. Will, will you still wing as much as I can? To chip it with health? Oh wait, we'll just raise the fence. Okay, seriously, now I really don't know what moves should be able to kill the slow bro. Since toxicity is down, the only one left that has Thunderbolt is Gardevoir. So looking at the four moves, it only has Psychic as a stab. And the rest are just stat enhancers. We draw Amnesia and Psych Up, aside from the Psychic. So this is just a... Okay, I meant to use Aerial Ace, but the Deep Pad failed me there. It keeps using Psych Up, but I only Corv Knight only has one stat change, and that's the only defense race of the Steel Wing. Okay. Too bad for. I'll try to. I don't know. Trace the step back to defeat I'm oh my gosh I suddenly went to Sabrina's okay that's dumb this is really dumb I suddenly ended up at Sabrina's now I know where to go I know where now I know where to go but I wanted to take down all the gym trainers because I was planning to save up for the Poke Dollars and left and all. Because I wanted to stock up on tons of Ultra Balls and so with full restores, max potions, revives, hyper potions, Ultra Balls, Great Balls. I really wanted to stock up on those. Okay. I wanted to check if I really did pass the right one. Okay, I really did went to where she is. Now I know where and how. So this is a Gengar, and looking at it, it's a solo Pokemon at level 80. This is also a Mega Gengar. Oh boy. Okay.
Cinder Ace really did become a reliable team member ever since it joined me at the Cerulean before fighting the Cerulean City Gym. Okay, so now Greninja's Greninja's at eighty one. Yeah. I just really want to take down all the trainers before really going to Sabrina. I can just go to teleport and teleport and teleport. I can handle those. Oh boy, the blaze kick missed. I'm wondering if Cinder Ace can learn Fire Punch. I really want to teach it Fire Punch. If it can. I'd be willing to remove the bounce if that happens. Because I have all the fly. Because I have fly, drill pack, and aerial ace at with Corv Knight. But I really don't know where the fire punch is. Okay. Moving on. Are you new? Okay, I battled you. I battled you also. Who are you? Okay, so this is this one's probably the last one. Okay, Cinder Ace doing a great job. So this is just an ordinary Gengar that won't Mega Evolve and Dynamax or Gigantamax I mean. But has a full restore. How oh, the hell did that happen? We'll use the last blaze kick, blaze kick, and there. All right, Gardevoir seventy five. How did that happen? Then guard after Greninja, the one that's supposed to level up next was Corv Knight, but now it's Gardevoir. Okay, now this is way too confusing. I guess we battled most of them. Or not. But I guess this one's the last one. Oh, um, oh boy. I was supposed to use bounce. But I accidentally pressed brick break there. I'll put the brick break. It might work. 
or I guess not. But it still will. This is probably the last gym trainer because I kind of teleported a ton already and I and we already managed to find Sabrina the path to Sabrina that fast the first try but I just really wanted to just use shadow ball you better be taken down by one shadow ball Okay, nearly there. All right. Toxtricity at 81. Why is Corv Knight the last? Okay, so there you go. Corv Knight reached 81 the same time as Toxtricity. So I guess Corv Knight is the timing of Corv Knight is now sync the same as Oh my goodness why do I keep on Oh boy We'll heal up Okay. One more battle for Cinder Ace and it will reach 79. Dextricity at 81, 79 for Rilla Boom, just a few more. Gordivore is catching up. With at level 75, Grand Ninja and Corb Knight respectively at 81. I'll put up Cinder Ace first to try and see who's the first one, but it'll definitely be the Mega Alakazam or something. So maybe I'll put up. So maybe I'll put up, uh, who should I put first? Oh, maybe I'll put up Greninja if she'll put first her Mega Alakazam or something. Because from what I remember, from starting from Brock, his Dynamax Dreadnought. Misty's Mega Gyarados um, and Surge and Lieutenant Surge Here's, I forgot who, you, who he has and then Erika's Mega Venusaur Koga's Mega Gengar so definitely her, Sabrina's Mega will be the first one in her party, so let's just go with Greninja, and I say I managed to save Rob before we start, so okay, this is a Mega Gardevoir, maybe, am I really sure, okay, so this one is the right one, so instead of a Mega, like a Zam, she has a Mega Gardevoir, just like us,
But seriously, if this, if her mega Gardevoir, oh my gosh, it suddenly turned to level 91. What the heck? Am I, we're going to get trashed by the Gardevoir. Okay, so that has, it have, and oh my gosh. It's a good thing that Greninja's partly dark type and the psychic won't work, but if she has Shadow Ball or something. Okay, the Dream Eater didn't work either because it's a psychic type move, so despite being Greninja asleep, putting Greninja to sleep, it won't deal damage to him since Greninja is still a dark type. And that cancels out the Gardevoir. Ta-ta! Grinning just really OP. Okay, Cinder Ace reached 79 as expected there. So now she has the Alakazam. If only we have... I'll... If, probably when we reach Cinnabar, I'll probably catch more pokemon off start catching pokemon off screen and because i really want to get the the amulet coin so she has the metagross this is probably the best job for cinder ace with the blaze kicks as long as it won't miss because look, Greninja's moveset consists of Surf, Ice, Beam, Extra Sensor, and the Faint Attack. But since Metagross is partly still type, Cinder Ace will definitely be handy. And the Psychic won't do much to her. Or maybe it dealt damage and now we're dead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's just continue with Greninja. I'll chip it with Surf. Okay, as expected. Alright, Rillaboom at level 80 now. So she has the Hatherine. Oh, oh, but I will have my Hatherine of my own. It's just that I chose Gardevoir more than it. Okay, so this is where she'll start spamming all her hyper potions to the Hatherine. And now Greninja dealt damage to himself. Quite annoying. But go for it. So the Hatherine knows Hyper Beam, but it wouldn't really deal much as long as Greninja can hit. Oh boy, I'll switch up first. It's good that Greninja managed to hit the faint attack or else it'll chip down its own health. But we're doomed because i didn't heal up so greninja fainted we'll fork it over with shadow ball oh gardevoir's 10 level slower than the hatherine but it's way faster so i guess i 
put up the right decision of letting our divorce stay. Okay, we're down to seven, six gym leaders now. Uh, how could I go back? Uh, I really forgot how to go back. Oh boy. How do I go back? Will you help me go back? Okay, great. Now we're back. Since we defeated Sabrina, there's the items probably... Okay, so we still don't have the full restores and max potions. Maybe after defeating Blaine? So, we'll put Cinder Ace up front again. But looking at this next gym leader, which is Blaine from of Cinnabar Island, he uses the fire the fire types, and Greninja will definitely be of use again. But I can remember that fire types can also learn the solar beam with enough power from the sun and so on and so on. And oh boy. Greninja might defeat himself there. So we'll fly. In the previous episodes, I used the trainers uh, here at this route. I think this is route 21. Yes, this is route 21. I used the trainers here for training. In one of my previous episodes and then I remember how I was almost trashed by a level 84 okay so there's def definitely looking at this area the ship and bill we are gonna go to one island after Blaine's gym battle so, oh boy, we're gonna catch them. So we're, we definitely need to stock up on the tons of Ultra Balls here and there. And revives, hyper, and even Great Balls. And probably a Thunder Wave or something. Oh, great. Because definitely there's... Um, there's, um, there's a legendary Pokemon waiting to where Bill will take us. So now we're at Cinnabar Island. There's definitely, there are definitely tons of trainers waiting. Okay, so where's the tell- Okay, now I'm confused. Where's the fossil revive scientist? Okay, so there he is. We'll put the old amber first because that's the aerodactyl. And the aerodactyl has a mega evolution. Definitely, I wanted to use... Um, definitely, when I have enough time again. I'll try to touch up on Pokemon X and Pokemon Omega. Oh my god, did we just went through the boat? So, are we healed up or did you just fly out of nowhere? Okay, so we're definitely healed up. And then... Uh, in the next episode, we'll take 
will check out the Pokemon Mansion and find the secret key to act to that to gain access at Blaine's gym. So, and then we'll just probably take a lot stock up and then get back our Aerodactyl from the science fossil revive scientist there so thank you guys for watching stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next one